What's up? This is Squad2448 with American Truck Simulator video. Today we'll be using this kind of worth W900 to haul a heavy load of steel from Sacramento to Hornbrook, California. We'll be hopping here on the inside and we'll be turning the semi on. It's very early, just about 5 a.m. here in game, which is pretty cool getting an early start to today. We do want to turn our lights on since that is a lot until a half an hour after sunrise, which is going to be pretty cool. Now this trailer weighs around 104. 4,000 pounds, very heavy load for us, which is going to be exciting. And I do also want to switch our digital dash over here to our digital speedometer. I really do like that a lot. And we'll be taking a quick look at the trailer once we do kind of pull out here from it. The construction site but so far very heavy load and I'm excited to be back here in American Trucks and but you guys can see this is actually a modded trailer I got this off the steam workshop I mean that is one pretty cool trailer we do have the tarp on it to really help with the aerodynamics you guys can see it is strapped down with the oversized load sign not exactly sure if this is oversized load but we know for sure this is a very heavy load at over 104,000 pounds and that's just load not including the truck or the trailer so now we we do have to get into position looks like there's a ton of traffic coming over here from our right and I can't even see from our left so we'll have to pull forward just enough and looks like we are able to go on this side and both sides so I always do double check as I do come out here but take a look at those engine sounds guys I mean those are some pretty cool sounds looks like we are actually getting on the highway right up over here which is also pretty cool I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below in the comments. My day is going good and I hope yours is too. We'll be making it this right turn. We do actually have to take this very wide going into the other lane just a little bit. I mean it is a pretty heavy load. We do not want to kind of rub up against the side rails anything like that. But you guys can see the sun is rising which is pretty cool. And take a look at that guys. We are getting on the highway. Pretty cool camera. And it looks like everybody around us is just about to have their lights off. Which means we won't be doing that, but take a look at that, guys. Getting up to speed. This view is a bit tricky, kind of seeing it as we are going. But overall, I think we'll turn our headlights off. You guys can see, take a look at that sky. But overall, so far, this W900 is getting up to speeds pretty fast, which is good. And we do have to keep a ton of room in front of us for braking. And it actually looks like we'll be going on a roundabout. So it's not this one. We do have to slow down for the purpose of preventing ourselves from rolling over. Let's take a look. Looks like we are good over there. And we will actually be buying a semi-truck within the next few videos I will have a video dedicated to buying one where we'll customize it do all of that so stay tuned for that hopefully I could get like a custom logo that says square 24 for a trucking on the side that would be pretty cool you guys since we are carrying a ton of momentum up this hill take a look at this Kenworth power I mean pretty cool and overall very strong truck looks like this vehicle is coming to a stop up here so we will have to wait looks like there's just so much traffic whoa take a look at that uh, you got dumb trucks passing by cement trucks and other semi trucks but it does look like it is good to go looks like he's going and it's good to go for us also so we do want to indicate wrong indicator on and yep good to go just double checking many different times it's always better to be safe than to cause an accident especially with a load of this size but you guys can see take a look at that I really do like the color of the semi that also does look pretty cool but wow very nice sunrise I really do like that starting out as early as we possibly can and it's uh, very nice to do it, but wow, take a look at that. A ton of traffic is behind us. You got a Mustang passing us and another truck coming. Wow, I mean, this Kenworth really getting it up to speed. And I really do like the sleepers. I mean, these things look pretty cool. We'll be hopping back here on the inside and we'll be gaining our speed back up to 55 miles per hour. It is a bit tricky with a heavy load and we actually have to get over take a look at that the jeep's not letting us by and it looks like we are good wow almost there for a minute i thought that we were going to have an accident there but we'll just continue down the road and we'll catch you along looks like we will have to be pulling up over to the way station coming up which is okay we will be kind of slowing down and letting our momentum bring us over here but wow it actually came up pretty fast on us sometimes these are open sometimes they are not but wow looks like it is pretty busy 50 miles per hour we really have to slow it down we are upwards of just about 20 there for a moment pulling in and it looks like we will have to wait in line here but I really do like this a lot I mean this is a pretty cool aspect and actually for the map I currently am building in 
farms him. I will actually have little weight scales areas around the map if you do want to weigh your truck and everything like that. I mean, that would be pretty cool to do as we are hauling it. And I really do like how they want us to do it here. So we do have to pull up. And it looks like we do have to come just a little bit more. We're going to get out of this view. Just kind of take a look at this semi truck. I mean, that looks awesome. Looks like we pull up just a little bit more. And it should do it right about here. Awesome, so we'll definitely enter it and let's take a look. 140,000 pounds with the load, the truck, and the trailer combined. That is quite a lot of weights though. I mean, that is very heavy, very heavy load. And you guys can see overall, this Ken Worth really does get up to speed and it does have some great engine sounds. But wow, looks like we are going to be caught up here on some traffic. And you really do have to be patient here driving. I mean, no need to rush. You'll get to the end destination it might be a little bit longer but it's safer than to rush but you guys can see it looks like there's a lot of traffic so we're just kind of sitting here waiting until both these go which actually looks like there is a little traffic break but i'm not exactly sure if they'll be going let's take a look it looks like one of them is and yeah so one of them is possibly the second one looks like they are both going there which is awesome and wow take a look at that semi coming with pipes i mean wow it looks like that one had to kind of slow down and knock out so it looks like we'll be waiting here and we'll just kind of have to keep waiting until a traffic break it looks like there's a pretty big traffic break so now we will be going that was quite a long time looks like there was a ton of traffic and then it did die down after a few minutes now this will be a pretty good time to see how good we can accelerate to just around 65 and it looks like the speed limit is 70 so we'll just go around 70 here on the road and i think that to keep it safer we'll probably go 10 under the speed limit you guys can see this kenworth is trying to get up to speed but take a look at this load i mean this thing looks awesome i really do like the trailer you guys can see it actually has one axle that does also turn with the front one to kind of help out but I mean wow this is awesome like I was saying guys I do get all of my mods off of the Steam Workshop it's a great area to get it very simple and easy we will now be getting over since it does go back here into three lanes and we'll just be continuing down but it looks like guys take a look at that that police officer is trying to hide there in the bushes which is pretty funny they really want to get some uh, people speeding but take a look at that guys we've got a plane flying above which is pretty cool I really do enjoy driving here in this game the landscape is pretty awesome and I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below in the comments. My day is going good and I hope yours is too. But we'll kind of continue down and we'll catch you back once we get something interesting. It looks like we've come up here on a ton of traffic. So I actually do want to kind of switch over here to the right lane. Just because there are cars kind of wanting to go by a little bit fast. But you guys can see a ton of traffic here in front of us. It looks like this entire... Uh, most right lane is full of semi trucks with a few cars while you guys can see the most left lane you guys can see Camaro speeding by so I mean a very busy highway and take a look at it the other direction guys two cement trucks probably going to a job but you guys can see all the different realistic vehicles i really do enjoy this game for everything and then having the mods on the steam workshop really do make this game even better since you can have pretty realistic vehicles and very nice semi trucks but you guys can see overall this kind of works a really good job looks like there's almost a car trying to tailgate us hopefully they do kind of not go too close to us just because i mean they do get good aerodynamics and better mpg when they do kind of get right up behind semi trucks but it's not too safe because then we cannot even see them out of our mirror so you always do want to keep that in mind if you are driving and you do want to go up close to a semi truck to get better mpg you just won't be able to be seen in a semi truck or even somebody towing a trailer that might uh, help you but in the long run it is a bit tricky you guys can see not able to slow down there wow take a look at that almost coming to a stop still whoa that was a bit tricky there and it actually looks like we are now getting in to let's Let's take a look looks like yeah really merging now into two lanes so we'll have to get over here looks like nobody is going to let us go wow looks like looks like this vehicle both of these vehicles not letting us so we we'll definitely have to kind of keep our indicator on but at the same time it actually looks like we are going to be getting off the highway it looks like let's take a look at this it looks like it is coming up way over here but yeah we have to get into it. but take a look at that guys we were patient getting over and looks like the traffic did kind of have a little break there which was pretty helpful for us but wow i mean that was pretty tricky there for a moment almost thought that we were going to cause a mini accident rear-ending that individual but we did a pretty good job uh, slowing down 
It looks like there's a gas station over here, so I thought it would be pretty nice to kind of come over here, get some diesel, and we were actually coming in here a little too fast for us, but overall we were able to slow down, take a look at that, still slowing down, that was a bit tricky, but because we have a very heavy load, we aren't getting good MPG, I actually will be checking that out, but wow, take a look at that, so it looks like uh, we will have to turn it off, and then we do have to press enter, once we do turn it back on, we'll be taking a look, but I think that we used up a ton of uh, diesel so far, but let's take a look the bills at two hundred fifty one dollars for 80 gallons which is quite a lot now let's kind of take a look at our mpg we'll just kind of switch through looks like we are averaging 3.8 miles per gallon on diesel so that is quite a lot looks like we are good on that side and on this side wow i mean looks like our employer did cover which is pretty good and this is actually very realistic you start out driving other companies trucks once you do get enough funds you do buy your own which we will be doing very soon so stay tuned for that probably next video or the one after that we will be having a video dedicated to buying and customizing a truck but we'll definitely get back on the highway we have just about 25 miles left in today's haul. This was one very tricky haul. The Kenwood has been doing a very good job, but at times we have been struggling to get up and over hills. But as you guys can see, I mean, so far, I mean, the load looks are very nice and safe. No damage to the truck or the trailer, which is a big bonus to us. And you guys can see a 2017 Ford F-150 Raptor just came in front of us. That is pretty cool. Like we were saying earlier, I really do enjoy all of the different vehicles here that are driving Raptor. And I actually have looked into the Coast to Coast mod, and I will be getting it. It looks like it is causing my game to crash, so if you do know of any ways to kind of solve that problem, let me know down below in the comments. Now, we are actually going down a hill. You guys can see cars are flying past us at high rates of speeds. Just because the highway speed is, I believe, 65, our GPS is only showing us 55, so sometimes the GPSs do need to be updated. But we could actually see the circle coming up here in our GPS, and I think it will be pretty cool to kind of get the GPS moves to right next to the handle. That way we do not have to kind of look down. We could just keep looking straight and the GPS is right over there. But wow, we are just about here and that is pretty cool. You guys can see we are just about a half a mile from Hornbrook, California and we did come from Sacramento which, I mean, this will be our first time also going into this town so that's also pretty cool. I really do like exploring new towns, driving to new areas because of the scenery and it looks like we'll be getting off the highway right over here to our right and we'll just use our momentum to get up the hill but at the same time it does take a lot of stopping power a lot of braking power to slow this low down just because you have all that momentum with a hundred four thousand pounds of cargo which is heavy steel so i mean overall very challenging it you know it looks like wow we are pretty much stopping by itself just because of uh, how heavy and how steep the hill is. But we'll be, now we're making this turn. Looks like we are good both ways. You always do want to make sure you are, or else you could cause an accident, especially with semi trucks. You do want to make sure there's a lot of room for turning. Won't have vehicles kind of being impatient, wanting to get as close, but then make it harder for you. But wow, 65 miles per hour on this road. That looks a bit too fast for how windy this is. But take a look at that, guys. We just explored Horn Brook, California, which is pretty cool. Looks like there's a truck stop right over here but wow i mean overall this kenworth did a very nice job now this view is a bit tricky and overall wow so let's take a look at where we really do need to drop this off at looks like it will actually be right over here that is very interesting looks like it's at this little road construction yeah so let's take a look looks like it is right over here so we're just going to pull forward not exactly sure but that looks to be the area so we'll definitely have to take a look yeah, so it looks like it wants us to drop it right over here, which is no problem whatsoever. Going to be very easy. You guys can see they actually do have an empty low boy there, which is also very nice. Now, we actually want to get out of this view. I really do like a uh, third person because I actually do not want to drive over these things also. But I actually did get a mod to remove the uh, glowing area and just replace it with cones to make it a bit more realistic. But wow, we should be able to get this on our first try. Very easy backing up. We'll put this kind of more here in reverse and take a look at that guys. I really do like the graphics mod that I do have. Oh, going a little bit up over there. Wow, we're able to 
probably first try and we are doing it that is awesome we're just gonna keep backing up here just a little bit to our truck kind of gets over here and should be coming up very soon and we'll definitely want to get it here on the acceleration slow ourselves down get a little bit more and wow I mean we did that pretty good and it should be coming up very soon oh nope looks like we do have to go back a little bit more but wow so far so good You guys can see we got it backed up, so hope you guys enjoyed today's haul of this very heavy steel. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and subscribe for more.